Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back and it's time to break down Tuesday's NBA DFS slate, January 9th. We have a four game slate, a pretty interesting four game slate. I do really like this four game slate. It's pretty straightforward. I think I should be pretty good to go. I have two lines created right now. Um, one with Westbrook, one without. And so that's kind of what's going to come down to. But let's hop into this, starting with the Miami Heat. We have Goran Dragic at 6700 Not a great price, but it's a serviceable price. Obviously, he has these type of upside games, but he also has 30, which wouldn't help you tonight. It is a raw point slate, and it is the Raptors without Kyle Lowry. So it does boost Goran Dragic a fair amount, but probably won't be going there personally myself. Oops. Uh... Got Josh Richardson, who has had a couple of good games, uh, the 35 and the 34. Not really anything crazy that's going to win you the slate tonight or anything. These were all without Drogic. Um, So it kind of pretty much a pass for me on Josh Richardson. Pretty much a pass on the guards. Moving on to the forwards, pretty much a pass there, except for Kelly O and James Johnson for GPPs. They've got the 40-point upside, um, but they also have, like, sing they have like uh, in-the-teens floors. Um, and then Whiteside coming in at 7,100. Minutes just still aren't there for him. Uh, and so I probably won't be messing around with the Sun. Whiteside tonight. Moving on to the Toronto Raptors. We got Kyle Lowry out. Which means a huge usage bump all the way up to a 44% usage rate for DeMar DeRozan. Uh, Valanchunas and Ibaka both come in in the 20s. And so does CJ Miles for usage. Uh, DeLone Wright takes 13%, but I will be locking him in tonight. DeLone Wright will be in my lineups. 4,400. Fred Van, v Van Vliet is also very interesting, but all the value and all the studs that you want are at guard. So it makes it really interesting tonight because you want the value in Napier, um, Wright, De'Aaron Fox, um... And you also want the studs at guard. You want DeMar DeRozan, who also has small forward eligibility, I will say that. But you want him, you want Russell Westbrook, you want CJ McCollum. I mean, it's kind of a weird day where most of your crap is at guard and most of it is at, shooting, is at point guard on FanDuel, where I would just suggest playing Napier and DeLone Wright. Don't even mess with Westbrook over there if you play those two guys you can pretty much play whoever you want at the other position so I would just fade Westbrook on FanDuel um but Fred Van Fleet very interesting should see into the 20 minutes um but I don't think he has like gigantic upside but like 19 points from him probably gets it done on this slate um DeMar DeRozan like I said about 44 percent usage rate I expect in the 50s for points tonight um Maybe not 35 actual points, but I would, I would, I'm thinking 30, 32 actual points, six, seven assists, and four or five rebounds. So I'm expecting a big game from DeMar DeRozan tonight. CJ Miles should see a little bit of an an uptick in scoring and points. Um, his usage gets bumped. It's 125.1 minutes of court time with no uh, Kyle Lowry and DeLone Wright on the court. So CJ Miles got a nice usage, so I have some interest in CJ Miles. Uh, Valanchunas and Ibaka. My favorite is Ibaka. He should play near 30 minutes, probably more if the game is close. Ignore the 39. He actually played 34 yesterday. If you take OT out, has that gigantic block and steal upside. Um, the issue is you're you got to get the blocks and steals because. If he did, like, if he got another block and steal here, he gets a 32. Really nice game. This, I'm just ignoring. But, I mean, like, some of the games like this, he gets another block and a steal. It's 29. A lot better of a game. Um, here, yeah, like here, he gets another block and a steal, and he gets, like, 40. So, I really like Ibaka tonight more than I like Valanchunas. Valanchunas has crushed in his last two games, but in 17 and 26 minutes, I, I just am not going to risk 20, a 17-minute game from Jonas Valanchunas where he puts up all, six points, and I'm just drawing dead at 730. 
So that's my Toronto interest. Moving on to Portland, Damian Lillard is out. Really only two guys I have extreme interest here, and it's CJ McCollum and Shabazz Napier. They both see gigantic usage bumps with Damian Lillard out. People will go to Evan Turner and Alfred Camino and Harkless, but I'm just going to stick with those two guys and let it ride. Nurkic is a little expensive for me. I like the guy on the other side, which leads us into OKC. I like Steven Adams a little bit more. 6,400. Um, he's probably the cash game um, center on FanDuel as well. Uh, pretty consistent uh, all the way around. Going to get you probably roughly around 26 to 32 points. Um, if he would actually complete one of these double-doubles, like if he completes that double-double, it's like 33. So um, I I'm thinking, I'm hoping that uh, Steven Adams finally has his big game. He hasn't really had a big game since... This one against Toronto where he had four four steals. Um, and he was one rebound short of the double-double. Playing with Westbrook kind of limits him a little bit. And I may go away from him by the end of the night uh, before lock. But playing with Westbrook kind of limits his rebounding upside because he lets Westbrook get a lot of rebounds. Um, Paul George and Carmelo more in play on FanDuel. I like them over there. Um, I don't think I'm going to play Paul George at 7,800. He's been smashing um, uh, a lot more than he was. He's not getting any of these, like, 26-point games recently that were just, like, so tilting when you would play him. Um, but he's not, like, crushing value to the point where I think he, he's, like, a must-play tonight, especially against Portland. He'll see uh, decent defenders. Um, not, like, um, not anything special or amazing, but he should see at least not, like, C.J. McCollum or Shabazz Napier defense tonight. Um, which would be mismatches for him. Moving on to Orlando and Dallas. No one really out on Orlando, so I, or Vooch is still out, but Biombo is accurately priced now, so I'm not playing Bismack Biombo. Um, you could look at Elf. Uh, that's about all the interest I have. If Jonathan Simmons sits, you can look at Aaron Gordon, Evan Fournier, and um, what's it? Mario, Haz Mario Hazonia. Other than that, no real interest there. Dallas gets the biggest pace up on the slate. Um, and the biggest points above expectation and average on the season. Uh, so I really like Wes Matthews and Harrison Barnes. I, I don't play old man Dirk, but he's fine. I like, Dwight Powell has been playing really well recently, um, other than the last game. But he's been seeing minutes, and he's been seeing production, even in like lower minutes he's been producing. So Dwight Powell, very interesting at 3,800. Um other than that, you can look at the guards, Dennis Smith and J.J. Barea. Not really crazy about either of them. Dennis Smith would be my favorite. Barea is a little bit too high-priced. Even though he's been doing well on the salary, the minutes just kind of, they kind of kill his upside. Uh, and so moving on to Sacramento, George Hill and Frank Mason are out. Um, that means it's De'Aaron Fox night again. If anybody sits for rest purposes, like if Temple sits or something like that, that makes Bogdan a little Bogdan and Buddy Heald a little bit more interesting than they already are. I like Willie Cauley Stein tonight against the Lakers. Uh, should draw like um, Julius Randle or Kyle Kuzma. I mean, I'm not too worried about any of those. Or he could draw Brooke Lopez, which I'm not. Not concerned with that either. Zebo at 6,300 is a little bit too expensive. I would just play Holly Stein. Um, I think no one else really interests me, but except Willie Holly Stein and De'Aaron Fox. Moving on to the Lakers. So they've kind of updated their rotation here. So Lonzo Ball comes out early after starting and then comes back with the second unit with Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Kuzma no longer starting, so I don't really like him. Randall is fine. Lopez is fine. But I'm not going to play any of them. Don't really. Um, Sacramento, not great against the big men. This is an interesting game stack if you want to go there. It's not very expensive. You can go Julius Randle, Lonzo Ball. Uh, let me do this this way. Point guard, Lonzo Ball. Um, if you go to guard, you can put in De'Aaron Fox. Kali Stein. Shooting guard. Could do some KCP, like it's small forward, a buddy healed. So you would still have 7,200 per position left uh, if you put these guys in a lineup. So that's not too bad. You could come off a of buddy healed and go down to like an even cheaper small forward, like a Garrett Temple or something like that. And then you could get like a, 
Uh, you get a utility, 7,500. You can get a CJ McCollum and Paul George type thing to go with this. So that's not a bad looking lineup. Actually, don't dislike that that much. So, yeah, that's just going to be it for the video, guys. It's pretty short, four game slate, pretty straightforward. Lots of different value plays and a lot of guards in play tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like video, a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.